I'm shopping for a Birkin. Is it premature? Maybe. That's not what we're here to talk about today. Today I'm going to share with you the top 10 Birkins that I found on Fashion File. Interested to see what I've picked? Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're going to find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style you're gonna find right here. So before we go any further, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments, find me over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. And what are we discussing today? I am shopping for a Birkin to add to my collection. As you can tell, my lonely little Hermes collection, I have the Hermes Rio PM in the box calf, and then I have the Hermes Kelly 35 centimeter in the return style Togo leather blue jean with palladium hardware. This bag is gorgeous, but, I need a Birkin. Will this complete my Hermes collection? No, it'll only further fuel the fire. I mean, what handbag collection is complete without both a Kelly and a Birkin? Now I know there's this whole thing, the Holy Trinity, the Constance, Kelly, and Birkin. The Constance really isn't my jam. I mean, once I tried it on, I'll probably fall in love, but the Birkin, the Birkin I have wanted for a very, very long time. So today I thought it would be fun to share with you 10 of my favorite Birkins that I found on Fashion File recently. So let's dive in. All right, so Birkin number one, this is the Chev Bicolor. It's a horseshoe Birkin 30 with rose and shocking iris. It is stunning. So this bag, it is in the Chev leather, so it's gonna be a nice kind of hearty goat skin. Gorgeous, gorgeous coloring. I, I love that they chose the palladium with this one over the gold, even though the gold would definitely make it a little bit more 80s Barbie Dream Birkin, which I'm here for 100%. Could I pull off a 30 centimeter Birkin? No, probably not. Maybe. Might be worth a shot. I haven't tried on a 30 yet, I don't think, have I? No, Zane shaking his head no. I haven't tried on a 30 yet, so maybe I need to give that a shot. Like I said, my, my Kelly is a 35. I'll probably stick to a 35 or a 40 centimeter Birkin, but this colorway was too good not to, not to mention. I mean, this is giving, I mean, Barbie 80s dream Birkin vibes, and I am here for it. And I love that the interior is done in that shocking iris. It, it really gives the bag a pop. It's a horseshoe Birkin, palladium hardware. It's from 2013, absolutely stunning. So the next Birkin on this list is Swift Leather. I, I really do like the Swift. I don't know if I would get the... I think the Birkin and Swift actually would be kind of a vibe. So this is a Swift Birkin 25 in the color Nata. It's stunning. So they did this one with the gold hardware. Personally, I really like when the Nata is paired with the rose gold. I think it's like really warm and luxe looking, but this one is, is absolutely gorgeous. Now, could I pull out the 25? No, probably not, but I mean, it does make more sense for everyday carry in my opinion. This is also a 2022. Oh, did I mention the price on the, 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 the Barbie Birkin? Currently marked down to 14,725. Yes, this is a Birkin top 10 list, so nothing here is going to be probably under 10K. Now, the Nada Birkin, this one is 25,995 USD. It just hit the website recently, so it's not even 5% off yet, but it is absolutely stunning. Now, this one itself comes with a dust bag, box, clochette, lock and two keys, and raincoat, so it is a complete set for the cool price of 25K. I love it, don't get me wrong, but that gold hardware, you can already tell, it kind of wears off on the feet. So I think I'm more of a palladium hardware kind of guy personally, but I can still appreciate the gold hardware, right? So this is every Hermes collector's dream. This is the Hermes Matte Nilotikus Crocodile Himalaya Birkin 30 in the Blanc colorway, and it is stunning. So again, you have the palladium hardware, which is a vibe. Now this one comes with everything but the lock. You get the site certificate, but they've lost the lock. So you're gonna have to pop into Hermes and buy a new lock. I know, whatever. It's from 2016 and overall it's in really good condition. Now, for those of you familiar with Hermes, especially the Himalaya Birkins, this one's going to set you back 165K. So I'm not quite there yet in my collecting journey. We're, we're still building up to that price point. You know, I'm still comfortable like sub 10K, not gonna lie. I actually got this one for a really good deal. Hopefully lightning strikes twice and I can get my Birkin for about the same price. Keep your fingers crossed for me. This next one is really cool. I can't tell how I feel about the Cellier Birkins. This is the Hermes Madame Calfskin Birkin Cellier 30 in the color Blue Frida, and it has the gold hardware. Honestly, it's a vibe. So this one's currently retailing for $22,995, just under $23,000. It's gorgeous, but when I think of Birkins, I, I think I prefer more of the, the return style. They're supposed to look casual, kind of, you know, worn in, you know, everyday luxury, right? That's, that's the kind of vibe I like to go for. I mean, hello, obviously, casual vibes only. Now, this Madame Calfskin, 
And I, I haven't really come across this before, but it looks to be kind of like an Epsom, kind of like a Safiano leather, kind of textured leather. So it, it's going to be pretty rigid, I think, especially in the Cellier style. Again, the gold hardware, I already see wear on the feet, drives me crazy. Palladium, I think, wears so much better. So I'm going to stick to palladium hardware, I think, at least for my first few Birkins, plural. This again, though, is a 30. I think my sweet spot's like a 3540, especially for the Birkin. I kind of like that oversized, messy look. We'll probably stick to that. Now, this next one, I picked solely for the color. It's not particularly a very special one, but it's a stunning combo. And for those of you that know me well, know that I love this color combo. So this is the Togo Birkin 30 in the color Bamboo. The, the green, it's a very bright, almost Kelly green. It's very, very grassy, gorgeous color, and they've paired it with gold hardware. I mean, hello, Vibe 100. Now, this one, probably because of the color whites, it's Togo leather, which is what this is, but I think because bamboo is probably, you know, maybe a little bit more harder to come by. This one's priced a little bit higher. It's priced at $20,995. I think this just hit the website too pretty recently. It's a 2014, almost complete set. It's just missing its box. Now, overall, the, the, the shape of this one, it is a little bit more relaxed. So this, this has been used. I mean, it's almost 10 years old at this point. But overall, it's in really good shape. Still has the plastic on the hardware, which not the smartest thing to do. I would take that off immediately after buying it. But it's still gorgeous nonetheless. And I do love a good green. Maybe I'd be open to gold hardware if it was the right leather color. Now this next one, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but this is like low key, really been catching my attention lately is the older JPG Birkin 2s. This is a 42 centimeter in the color CL, or I think Sky, I know a little French. This one is an absolutely gorgeous colorway. It's like a nice gray blue with um, silver hardware, the palladium. It's from 2009, but overall it looks pretty darn good. There's some major shape loss though on the backside, so maybe not pretty darn good. Overall though, super cute, and I don't think I've ever seen a JPG Kelly or Birkin in the, in the wild before. This is definitely going to be a standout when you're out walking around. It also comes with a cell phone pocket. So if you're still using your flip phone from 2009, you've got a pocket just to place that right in. Don't even worry about it. Now, price-wise, this is going to be the best on the list today. This one's priced at only $7,000 only. $7,105. It's currently 10% off from the original fashion file price. And overall, it's in pretty good shape. You're not going to get the, the dust bag, the box you know, any of that stuff, you're just going to get the clochette lock and two keys. Kind of a bummer, but at that sub $10,000 price, you do kind of lose out on that full set experience. I mean, I did, so whatever. Next up, this one is absolutely stunning. So I know I said this was a Birkin list. So we saw a JPG Birkin. I'm going to throw one other at you. It's an HAC. This is the HAC 32. So if I were to go like smaller, like width wise, I definitely want to go taller just because I am six foot seven. I know, believe it or not, but I am very tall. So Taller bags tend to look a little bit better on me. This one is from 2005. It's ostrich in the color violine. Probably butchering that, but whatever. As you can tell from the photos though, this bag is absolutely stunning. So you know me, I love a good purple. It's got that palladium hardware, so we're checking two of those boxes. I like a good exotic, especially ostrich. Ostrich, lizard, snake, that's kind of like my, my vibe. Alligator and croc, I mean, it doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Like, I like it. I can appreciate it. It's gorgeous. But when it comes to exotics, ostrich, lizard, snake, that's kind of like my vibe. This one does come with a dust bag, clochette, lock, and two keys, and it's from 05. And it looks this good still. Like, whoever owned this bag before, why did you sell it? Honestly. Currently priced at $20,425, which is 5% off of its original asking price over on Fashion File. With this one, just because of its age and the kind of extreme color, I wouldn't be surprised if this saw 30% off. So, if you're into this, I mean, I'm not looking to buy one this expensive. Keep your eye on it. Put it in your watch list. I guarantee this will hit 30. <sighs> now I know I just went on my, you know, alligator crocodile rant, but this one is gorgeous. Okay. So for the right color combination, I, I would do a croc or an alligator. This is a matte alligator, which is, I think, particularly interesting. Usually when you think of like crocodile, you're thinking of like the Nautilus croc, that very shiny, smooth, almost patent crocodile skin. The matte alligator though, it's, it's really masculine, which I mean is cool. But the color Blue de Malt is stunning. And I love that on some of the exotics, they cover the lock in the same leather, which I think is kind of a vibe. It just looks that much more luxe, in my opinion. This is from 2010. Currently priced, it's 10% off, by the way, $29,240. It is absolutely stunning. With this, you get the box, dust bag, lock, and two keys, the clochette, the site certificate, which if you're going to be traveling, you'll need, and the raincoat. Like, hello. Whoever owned this bag, like, did you carry it? This is absolutely stunning. The corners are in tip-top shape. Like, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Can you see what I mean by, so this is an older one, but it has the palladium hardware, and the feet, I think, show less wear. You don't have any of that, like, kind of gold color loss that you do with the gold hardware. Overall, gorgeous bag, silver hardware. I mean, 
couldn't get any more perfect than this, right? Like it is a stunning bag. Zane, Christmas is next weekend. Just throwing it out there. Okay, we've got two more Birkins left. Now, can you guys imagine what I have picked for you? They're kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Epsom leather is probably my least favorite. I said what I said, don't hate me. Epsom leather is my least favorite Hermes leather. I know. I'm crazy. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Like texturally, it's gorgeous. I just think it, it looks overprocessed, and I really like kind of the leather to have that like natural look. When it comes to my Hermes bags, especially the box leather, like if I can get a box Birkin, sign me up. Dotted line. Ooh, and like an oxblood color, that would be a vibe. Now this next one, like I said, it's Epsom. It's a candy Birkin, Epsom candy, Birkin 35 in the color Kiwi Lichen. It is a shocking bright green. It is absolutely stunning. I have a couple shirts that would look really good with this. Oh my gosh, it's a 2011. So this bag, again, really good shape, but Epsom leather can take a little bit more than what like your Togo, especially more than your box can take Swift. The bottom corners do show wear on this bag. However, it is priced at 14,395. So again, you have that shocking, harder to find color. You're gonna be paying a little bit less just because of condition, but we all know the, the miracles that the Hermes spa can work. So I don't think that'd be a problem. Um, the interior looks to be a different color, which is kind of cool. They don't have a, oh, the exterior is Kiwi, the interior is Lichen. Here for it, love it. Overall, this comes with a dust bag, clochette lock, and two keys. So again, not the full experience, but I mean, hello, it's stunning. And it's a 35, which is, it's kind of my sweet spot. This is on my watch list. So let's hope it gets to like 30% off soon. <sighs> okay, this last one is low key, kind of my dream Birkin. And I think it would be an amazing first Birkin for yours truly. And I've shown it to you guys before. So for those of you that really paid attention during my whole like, you know, emergency, I'm buying my Birkin this weekend video or like my top 10, you know, Hermes Kelly Birkin video. I don't remember what it was. Link will be down in the description, but I've shown this to you guys at least once or twice. I absolutely love this bag. Someone bought it and then returned it because it's back up to full price. I think it did get to like 30% off, which low key is like, uh. This is the Togo and Swift Gillies Birkin 35 in the color Anemone. 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 Anemone, anemone. I know it's probably anemone, but I think anemone is much cuter to say. Anyway, this is a 2014. I love the Gillies, Birkins, and Kellys. I, I like anything with like broken detail and it's, it's a vibe 100%. I also love the little tassel that they did at the end of the key clochette. This is a gorgeous example. It comes with a clochette, lock, and two keys. I think even when this one got down to 30%, I was a little hesitant just because no dust bag. It's in really good shape for 2014. So, I mean, this is forever going to be on my watch list. It is low key stunning. Currently priced at 13,095. <sighs> I love this bag so much. And I think that the anemone, I said what I said, would look so good with my blue jean. I love cooler, cooler tone colors. So this would be a vibe 100. Now. That is, I think, I think I shared with you like my 10, my top 10 picks of Birkins. One, two, three, four, nine, 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 nine. Yeah, 10. Of those, are any of these like really, you know, in my price range for my first Birkin? I don't know, don't be rude. But <laughs> if, if, if you've been around my channel for any amount of time, then you probably already know that I have more than 80 handbags in my collection. Now this includes, you know, Hermes, LV, Prada, Gucci, Coach, Dooney and Burke, like I've got a lot of bags. So I'm low key kind of playing with the idea of not really necessarily another vlog sale. They'd probably just go all into eBay, but I'm, I'm considering, you know, like maybe scaling my collection back to like 20 bags that I like super, super, super love and adding a Birkin, 15, 20 bags. If, if I even have the, the willpower to sell 60 bags, oh my gosh, that'd be a, that'd be an undertaking. I'm, I'm low key kind of playing with that idea. like. Do I really need 80 bags in my collection? I mean, obviously, duh. Do I need more closet space? Absolutely. I have really good examples of, of some pretty interesting and unusual vintage, well, not really vintage, but like Y2K, McBling era and up bags in my collection. But I mean, some of them just don't make, like I, I kind of am in a rut where like the same 10, 15 bags, like I constantly want to carry. And then like others I have to be like, oh yeah, I probably should carry that. And, and no one wants a probably should in their collection. Like you just want to love every single thing. How folks have like, you know, over a hundred bags in their collection and, and, and not feel overwhelmed is beyond me. Cause quite frankly at 80, I'm good. I, I think I have too many. So I'm going to do one of two things. I'm either going to sell a whole bunch and buy the Birkin, or I'm going to stop buying and just save up for the Birkin and buy it later this year, which that's going to take a lot of willpower too. So both ways, I mean, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Should I sell a whole bunch of bags, put them on eBay or just stop buying 
and then just save up for the Birkin. Buying the Birkin. Are we going on a Birkin journey for 2023? Absolutely. I think I need a Birkin within the next five to six months. Help me decide. Vlog sale? Buy the Birkin? No vlog sale? Keep everything and have like 81 bags. I really don't know how many I have, but I know it's over 80. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. What did you guys think of my Birkin list? That Gillies Birkin. Every time I see it, I fall in love with it again. If it was like in a shade of blue, I think I'd be done and done. There was a blue Kelly Gillies, but the color combo looked a little washed out. I just love the Gillies style. This video was kind of inspired by Jamie Chua. She was interviewing one of her friends, Chow Ma, and her collection is absolutely stunning. I'll link that video down below too for you guys. I'm just kind of thinking like, is it time to like elevate and kind of change my collection? Like, do I just want to head more towards, you know, collecting rare things or do I just want to collect, you know, a little bit of everything? Like, here's my Kelly, but then here's my Louis Vuitton Multicolor. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. So I took a break on Sunday, so you guys didn't get a new video then, but you got a new video today. Love that for you. There's also not going to be a vlog on Friday because guess what? I literally didn't even get dressed this weekend. The nicest thing I put on was a sweatsuit to go see a movie. So you guys probably didn't want to watch me, you know, laying around the house in my pajamas playing video games. It'd be kind of a boring vlog. I'd watch it, but I don't know if you at all want to watch it. We are back to our regular schedule though coming this Sunday. Nope, because Sunday is Christmas and no one's going to want to watch anything. So you're going to get a short on Sunday too. Love that for you. Aren't you glad you clicked? Thank you all for joining me. I hope you're all having a happy holiday. If you celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah this week. Otherwise, Merry Christmas. I will see you guys soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>